well now, this looks medieval, but that's deceptive, isn't it? Well, afraid so, yes. Of course, the townspeople did share the old priory church with the priory, but after the priory was dissolved, they just went on using it. Right, so what happened then? Well, by the 18th century, it had got into very poor shape. According to the builder's report, it was ruinous in roof, walls, and foundations. Right. So, if we go inside, we can see how they tried to tackle that. Right, let's have a look. Well, the townspeople must have wanted something more in tune with their status as a county town. Yes, so they commissioned the Warwick architect, Francis Smith, to build them one of the new auditory churches. Those are churches like the Hawksmoor churches in London. Well, yes, they've got everything arranged around the pulpit. It, it, it's the big sermon as public entertainment. Is there anything left of the medieval building? Well, there's some of the stone in the West Front, but a lot of it seems to have been reused, so it's not in its original position. Well, things like this tell us a lot about one within its sense of place, doesn't it? But, but, but also a lot about power in the community. There's the Bowen Swan, and there's the Beaufort Portcullis. And the Royal Coat of Arms. I mean, Monmouth is clearly a place where people want to be seen to be. But there's a lot of religious imagery here as well. I mean, here, here are the crowned ends for the Virgin Mary to whom the church was dedicated. And this tiny little plaque here with the instruments of the crucifixion and lots of religious inscriptions. I mean, it's very, very complicated for something that was just going to be under people's feet. Absolutely. So there are also some splendid two monuments here, aren't there? Well, yes, this one is Joseph Price who was paymaster of the Honourable East India Company's Navy. So there he is on his monument with a company ship. Brilliant. Yeah. And of course from the Victorian rebuilding behind us we have that wonderful Kemp window with its four rivers of paradise. That's a yes, good one. Yes, yes. And all that lovely carved woodwork, that was done by Martin and Company who actually made the speaker's chair for the House right. of Commons. Very impressive. Yeah. Oh, nothing but the best here. Indeed, nothing but the best. Well, where shall we go next? Another pub, maybe? That sounds a good plan.